Obviously an urgent situation. Lauren Lemanchik joins us live now with the very latest. Lauren. Well, Carol, we are here with the mayor that you just heard him give his plea not to use the water. That was about an hour and a half ago. What is the very latest you have heard from the fire scene? We are still at critical lows for our water and we're asking residents to conserve water as best they can. It appears that we are on the offensive of the fire. We have crews inside the building right now, and it appears that we're, we're really going after the fire and beating it down pretty good. And that is something that's new, because most of today we heard that this was a defensive operation. It has been. It's been a defensive operation, but we've been able to get crews inside and really go on the attack. Right now, at last, we heard that there had been no injuries. Is that still the case? That's correct. We haven't had any injuries so far. Any idea yet what is burning inside that building? It's, the, it's a combination. It's a very old building. It's over 100 years old. And the tar that they used on the roof has really fueled the flames. And, you know, the wind that we've had has shifted directions probably about five different times this day. Evacuations. People are still not allowed in their homes. Any Correct. indication now that this is an offensive mission, at what point people can get back in? When it's determined to be safe and secure, we will let you know. Any update on hazardous materials in the air? Uh, we've been testing for hazardous materials and we've gotten pretty good results and uh, we're going to hopefully do it again and make sure that everything is safe. Do you anticipate people will be able to go to their homes tonight? I sure hope so. Is that a, a likely hope? I, I really hope so. You know, I'm going to leave that up to the fire chief and let him determine whether or not they can return back to their homes. At this point, you have had so many firefighters out there fighting this place. Give us a sense of the scope of this and how your departments here in Cudahy have handled this. I think that the departments, uh, the police departments, fire departments, all the emergency responders have just done an excellent job. Uh, our immediate communities next to us, St. Francis, South Milwaukee, Oak Creek, they've just been overwhelming with support and they've helped us out tremendously. South Milwaukee's done an excellent job with hosting all of our uh, displaced residents and they've provided shelter for them and actually made it very pleasant for them. So I really appreciate it. Right now, what is the major concern with this Patrick Cudahy fire? It's safety. You know, this is a very tricky fire. We think we've had it beaten down and then it flares up again. We just want our fire department to be safe. All right, thank you very much. Thank Mayor you. Ryan McHugh giving us the very latest from that fire scene. He's been in constant contact with the fire chief. We hear the fire chief may be here later today, and if he is, we will bring him to you with the very latest. And Patrick Cudahy employees, of course, have a lot of questions about when they might be able to return to work. These are some tough economic times. Lauren Lemanchik joins us live with more on that. A lot of people want to know this one, Lauren. Yeah, a lot of questions, and I'm joined here by Dan Habikhorst, who is uh, in the Human Resources for Patrick Cudahy. Tell us, for all the workers out there who are wondering, when can they go back to their jobs? Well, I wish I knew, but uh, tomorrow we plan to uh, have the salaried employees report to work uh, at their normal time. The production workers will still be off for the day while we assess the damages. We hope we get the fire out uh, sometime yet this afternoon or early evening. And then we'll have a chance to, uh, to see which departments can run and which ones can't. So until we know that, uh, everybody is uh, just kind of on a furlough. And uh, I, I can't tell anybody how, how long it's going to be. The, the departments that aren't affected will probably be started back up fairly quickly. Those that are affected will be down for a little while anyway for repairs. For those who are wondering, this is such a big part of this community. If you could quickly just tell us the future of the Patrick Cudahy plant. This is going to stay in operation. People are going to have jobs here in Cudahy. I would certainly suspect so. I would want to, uh, I'm, I'm concerned about that myself. The uh, uh, plant has got a long history and uh, we're a very successful plant. Uh, so I would not expect that uh, this is any kind of a, a death knell or a death warrant or anything like that. Well, thank you very much. That's the latest from the Patrick Cudahy Corporation. Back to you.